Thanks. When I lived in the UK, in London, um, there was this guy on the corner on Oxford Circus, and he had this sign. He did this for uh, 25 years until he died. And he really had it in for beans and proteins. And, I mean, I, th I think he was worried about it being getting us too lascivious. But he also had it in for sitting. And I couldn't really understand it. And, and it almost looked like it was tacked on. It was just like, well, I'm there. Let's just nail sitting. Um, <laughs> But he was talking about it being lascivious and uh, making you lazy. But unfortunately, sitting is probably killing you. Um, there's been a lot of research happening. It started in the 50s, but it's been really picking up lately. And uh, well, I'll let you read this, but the more you sit, the less you'll live, basically. Um, now, how many here sit regularly for work? That's at least half of you. About 70% of Australians sit for work. Now, the bar staff, no, they're standing, but there's a few of us, um, more than half of us, who sit. And I did some calculations. I was looking at myself. Um, so I went to work. I would sit there at work. I'd sit there eating lunch. Uh, I'd sit on the bus. I'd go home and sit after I stood up making dinner. Uh, probably get some entertainment, read, whatever. All of that sitting, at least 12 hours. But we weren't really built for sitting. At best, well, I can't squat because they'll freak out on the video, but <laughs> we would squat. Uh, we didn't really sit as human beings. And we stood up, we wandered around, we would walk for about 20 kilometers a day, hunting and gathering. Um, unfortunately, that's changed. Um, we stood, we started walking around, we'd carry briefcases, and then we we're sitting down again. So all that sitting is slowly. Um, doing damage to our bodies. Um, and there's a new term that's coming up. It's called sitting disease. And I won't go through in the details, but it basically talks about your muscles shut down after you've been sitting for too long. They're, they just, you're not doing anything, so I'm not going to do anything either. And it's actually consuming energy. Um, the thing is, it doesn't make any difference if you go to the gym. If you're going to the gym three, four days a week, really putting up a sweat, it doesn't matter because what matters is the little, what's called um, uh, micro-exercise. Now before, like these guys, they're just sitting having their lunch. Sitting was a pause. It was that bit where you had rested from the morning and then you had something to eat, had a bit of a chat and then get back to work. But we're not doing that. We're actually sitting. We're eating at our desk, sitting. Um, a lot of famous people would stand while they're working. Winston Churchill, famously, Ernest Hemingway, with his very lo-fi desk there, would stand while he was working. Um, and they're not the only ones. I was looking for a picture of Dickens, but I couldn't find one. Um, now, you don't have to go crazy. And you don't have to spend a bomb and you don't have to actually use a treadmill. I'm a little bit worried about that because that's just another repetitive motion that you're doing, and I really want to see him drink coffee out of that. Uh, this is my desk. Um, I've had a little bit of an upgrade, but this is pretty much what I'm doing right now. And it's really lo-fi stuff, and work supports it. They actually have a stack in the back. If you want to stand, here's your stuff. Go on and get started. And it doesn't cost anything. If you were to buy this now, I mean, go to Ikea, uh, 20 bucks for the stand and 35 bucks on, um, on Amazon for the um, adjustable stand. So you can figure out what height works for you. And then if you're really interested, you can go crazy. You can look at all the variations. You can spend 60 bucks. You can spend six, eight grand. It's up to you. But the basics are the same. So I'm just going to give you a few rules on how you can try standing for a while at work. First rule is your foundation. That's not a good foundation. If you're going to be standing all day, you want to think about what your feet are standing on. A little bit of a heel, fine. That, I don't know. The guy in the picture, he's got the right idea. He's got some flats. The second thing is health and safety. It's pretty much the same thing. You've got to make sure your arm is just a little bit uh, leaning downwards, good posture, looking straight ahead near the top of the monitor. In fact, there's a few less measurements that you need. The other thing is to keep moving. Now, normally I'd be moving a little bit more, but again, these guys don't want me to move very much. But you would lean on things, you could dance a little bit. If you've got headphones, you know, it's fine. Just keep moving while you're working. It's that locked motion that isn't good for you. And finally, don't get religious on this. <laughs> Sit down. Have a little stool next to you uh, when someone comes to have a little discussion. You can both sit down and talk, stand up again and get back to work. 
don't go crazy, and most of all, don't lock your knees. And while you're standing, you're ready for the next big thing in user interfaces. You can have your own minority report situation, and you'll be ready for it. You'll be ready to stand all day swiping criminals all over the place. Thank you.